Hello, it's me again. So today we will look at um, a simple use case, which is about the authentication of the NAT device. So this is the network access device, meaning the admins on these devices. And in this case, we are using mobility controller, our specific, and we would like to configure the TechX authentication service on ClearPass. So the ClearPass would be the authentication server. And then we will send back any admin role that we wish to be pushed back to the mobility controller. This means that if I have multiple locations, multiple mobility controllers or multiple NAT devices, then we will have that centrally managed by some sort of authentication source. In this case, it is the clear pass. Let's go. So that's a mobility controller that uh, now initially we're going to log in with the with the local admin user that is root built um, that is inside the built-in database so we go to configuration system and we will go to the admin tab you can see users who connect using local admin and that's the role for that one is um, as a root what we would like to do is to would like to add authentication option so under admin authentication option we will uh, look at the uh, we will create um, a techx so if you look at the system and you go to admin you will notice the admin authentication using internal database or server group and if you look at what internal server group here it is local so basically that's internal server group and says internal here right you're going to see what's internal server group it is internal database that contains the users who are basically admins and so on yeah. the default here is also using the um, what we're going to do we would create a server group and we will add clear pass as a server so we are called this one the name does not matter really the x And we will go to that TechX server group. Scroll down. And we will add a server to that. So we really have an existing server, but if that did not exist, we would have added a new one. Give it a name, and it is um, a TechX server. So we're going to add a new one. We can just call it ClearPass Policy Manager. Uh, we call it TechX. Yeah. Um, IP address 10254.1.25 that's our IP to that server and the type is going to be TechX we're going to submit this apply the changes so now we created a server group we call it TechX G, um, SG server group and inside we created um, a server that is using TechX communication and that's the IP address of the server so this is ready now what we can do now we can go system uh, we can go admin now again and authentication servers here we can clearly see the TACAX server that we we have used is there basically we go to authentication options server group that is using internal would like to go to TechX server group. So we now uh, going to communicate TechX server group. Um, and that's the default uh, role that the user, uh, the admin user will get is root. We leave it as is. And we will go submit. So what will happen in this case, when the user try to log in, they will try to use TechX server group. So we're going to look at clear pass now. We try to connect um, with even 
the normal admin so we will log out and uh, we will examine the uh, clear pass access tracker now and event viewer we'll have a look so that's clear pass we will log in and we'll look at the access tracker nothing showing up here so I clear the text there's nothing really and if we go to event viewer there's nothing really so we haven't done anything basically so we'll go back to our um, controller and then from that controller we're gonna try to log in using the admin the normal admin as we have used it before you will notice that there is a request that is sent to clear pass because this is what we said to the controller go and send the request to clear pass but that will definitely fail because there's nothing there are multiple things but there's nothing really configured on clear pass to accept that TechX authentication failure shared secret mismatch or bad TechX packet being sent to from MC4 now this means that in the configuration here when we need when we added an add device or the, the client we already added this one but we added this one as a radius there was no TechX shared secret so we're gonna configure the shared secret here exactly the same as we have done it on the controller itself and we're gonna save it and we will attempt to log in again probably we need to go back to the and just configure or make sure that the shared secret is correctly configured so we're gonna go for the authentication and in the group that we created we go to the server and we're gonna just edit this one um, so we change the password to match the other password and we're going to try to log in again we'll double check the LSC and entry here the server itself username admin authentication status fail i'm going to go look at the request that came from the authentication the request type from the admin device which is the mobility controller is using techx authentication the client ip is the clear pass is the nad device the remote ip is where the machine is using that so this the window machine that we are using to connect uh, try to authenticate what I let's say user not found so it says user admin not present in the local user repository local host failed to authenticate user admin so basically what we're saying if you look at the service that has um, served that request is a built-in service called Aruba device uh, login uh, device access service that is a built-in service notice the square brackets around the name of the service so we can we're going to just make a modification here so let's go to the configuration and go to that service our device access service so we're going to go services and the um, the service that has been used is this normally what we'd like to do we'd like to copy the service rather than just make any changes so we did copy the service probably we can change the name of that service let's say um, Aruba access device the device access so we just changed the service and there is no condition whatsoever it means this is an absolute generic service that will accept any settings from anybody basically so any Aruba device that will fall under that category because there are no conditions to that authentication if we look at the authentication here we might want to change this into admin user repository because we already have admin user let's just remove this user list of this list of authentication source from here and the only one that will authenticate is the admin user repository so we're going to save it and we will try to log in again using the same username admin but this time you're going to notice the admin will authenticate using clear pass rather than lo using the local uh, database so we will log out and log in again 
obviously will demonstrate how can we send back something different yeah so that has um, authenticated uh, if we look at if we look at the clear pass and if you look here uh, the reason for that because we have not reordered the service so what we need to do is simply we go back the mistake um, or the thing we have forgotten to do is um, we can either uh, disable the service so it is not doesn't get executed yeah and then we will log out again here and log in again so now the user logged in as admin business as usual there's no difference from the admin perspective but if you look at the uh, access tracker here you're going to find a successful authentication we're doing nothing basically we just prove that it is possible for for the admin users to be able to communicate or authenticate using um, clear pass as the techx server we look at other things as well so just quickly to explain this client ip this is the mobility controller ip address this is where the windows machine where we run the browser um, policies there's uh, this policy service policy that we have copied and then admin user repository that we have changed the role is user authenticated and the profile is this is techx read only pro access profile so now let's create a new user to demonstrate the fact that we uh, don't have to create the user on the mobility controller so we're going to create a new admin user here and um, so we're going to add a new one and let's call it mc mc admin mc admin and that's mc admin the name is anything mc admin password it doesn't matter and we will assign this user as a super administrator we're gonna add so remember mc admin doesn't exist on the mobility controller it only exists on the back end like in this case um, on our clear pass server so we're going to go mc admin then we logged in now that user did not exist on the mobility controller let's have a look at the clear pass you can see mc admin has logged in in this case so let's remember now remember the clear pass will authenticate the admin users and then uh, the, the authenticated user will log into the controller um, outside the scope of this discussion but uh, it's worth mentioning this I'm talking about Aruba controller specific so in the authentication tab here you can see we have added a TechX uh, server group and inside that server group we have included internal just in case of something this means if this is not reachable then the internal database will work right and look at the type is techx very important for the authorization so when they send the admin role from the clear pass the authorization should be ticked by default this is not ticked so you should take this authorization session authorization otherwise if you don't tick it that means that it will accept the login but will not really accept or it will ignore the admin user role that is sent by uh, by clear pass to the Aruba controller and uh, if you look at the system obviously um, again just to make sure that um, you don't miss on these things authentication option of course you can configure things like this and the server group we said is this server group um, pretty much we don't need to do anything here and uh, uh, that's the so this is as far as the mobility controller is concerned so now we're going to just pay attention back to the to clear pass okay this is now clear pass itself what i've done uh, i created a very simple um, uh, use case so there's a user called guest admin um, i created the user under the identity local users under the configuration tab so 
and that guest admin, we're going to log in again. Now, that guest admin was assigned um, a role, and that role I just call it guest provisioning role. Um, anything can also, of course, um, a lot it depends on your requirement, you can make a lot of changes. But if you remember, the service that, that was used to authenticate the user that we have created was called MC Mobility Controller Our Device Access Service. And in the um, in that service, the authentication we make it local user, local repository. That's where the authentication source. We have not used any role mapping policy. Of course, you can extend this model into Active Directory integration, role mapping, and attributes. Maybe a group membership. Any of these can be also used. Um, I'm showing you the concept, and if you understand this concept, you can apply it, and you can apply it and extend the services to other integration. Uh, like Active Directory or um, Azure Directory Service uh, and the likes. I have created an enforcement policy. Um, we can look at that. I call this one guest provisioning policy. You can modify it. So you can go it from here or you modify it from there. And that's the policy I have created. And notice this is DECX type. If you click on this one and in the enforcement, you can see uh, we gave it a name and the default profile it is a TechX type, remember? The type is TechX because that's where authentication is. Um, we said deny profile should the conditions not met. Here, I created two conditions. Condition number one, if the role equals read only, anything can be done here, as I said to you. Um, then go for the read only action. Otherwise, if the role is guest provisioning, go for this action. Now, these actions are here in the enforcement profile. This is the read-only action. And simply, it is sending back an Aruba common. Um, so how you do this, you say you're going to create another. You can't modify this. So basically, what we normally do, we copy this, which I've done. And in that copy, we renamed it. So this one. Um, and then we can uh, modify this one. So... Um, in the profile here, of course, um, we can ch change the description. In the service, that's the important one. We leave everything as is. Um, you need to add the service that you wanted this profile to be applicable to. So this is Aruba now. If this was a different vendor, you would have selected something differently. So here, Aruba, we call it Aruba Common. And the only action this can take is to send back an Aruba admin role back to the mobility controller. And this role, we call it guest provisioning. This is something we send back. Remember, this role needs to exist on the mobility controller, which is does, which does. So basically, if this user now logs in to the mobility controller, the admin user, which is guest admin, which I have created here. Notice, this is the one I have created, guest admin they um, this guest admin will be authenticated and it will be only allowed to be a guest provisioning so meaning that the, this specific account can add guest guest admin and uh, password notice this is what this guest admin sees now, that guest admin as a username doesn't exist on the mobility controller, but does exist on the clear pass. Let's have a look at the clear pass. And in clear pass, let's monitor that situation. Notice that's the guest admin. And notice authentication pass request that comes, as we did explain before, TechX authentication request, computed attributes. These are resultant attributes. And again, um, the authentication source was local user repository, TechX username guest admin, and the tips service that is used in this case is this our service. In the policies, again, the role that was assigned is this. Again, this is an extremely simple uh, mechanism to assign the role. You could create a role mapping policy, and then that will dictate how the role is assigned. User authenticated, always assigned because this is when the user gets authenticated. In the authorization here, notice we are uh, they execute a shield on the um, 
on the mobility controller and the status has passed. If I go to the mobility controller console, look at um, SSH to the mobility controller and we can issue the command. Notice that we have the last user that has logged in with guest provisioning. That's the one that has logged in and the date and so on. So this is to show you that the authentication has worked and the authorization as well has worked. Obviously each vendor pay attention to how to enable authorization when you communicate or when you integrate with the likes of ClearPass or some other NAC solution systems. Notice here in the ClearPass itself that there were two attempts to log in as admin. And the reason we received this because we have enabled um, authentication using the server group, the, the TechX one. The TechX group had two types of servers inside it, the clear pass as well as the internal. So every time someone authenticates the, and the reason for that, because the, um, the clear pass is, is listed at the top of the list inside the controller. Again, we're not very much discussing this, but uh, it's worth mentioning uh, these specific things. Um, that's, uh, that's about it in terms of uh, how you can integrate. Uh, we will have a f some future videos about uh, further integration. In this video, we have explained how to integrate the mobility controller and integrate that one using TechX authentication for the admin login with a clear pass. Thank you very much for watching the video and hope I see you in future videos.